The other day, I wanted to build a quiz. I wanted to build a quiz where I was like asking you guys what your preferences were, what you were gonna use a camera for, blah, 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 so that that quiz would spit out my recommendation for a camera. Because I get asked questions like this all the time, like, like what camera do you recommend? What should I buy? Blah, 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 right? So I was like, you know, a quiz could be really fun here. So I set off to build said quiz on the platform that I would normally build a quiz on. This is a platform that I've used for years. It's called Interact and it's great for quizzes. I have an affiliate link that I'll link below. It really is great. And I realized how much logic was gonna have to go into building this quiz. Like, okay, if you pick that you have this budget, but you are like this, you need, like you have these needs from your camera, and then you want this size of camera, there was gonna be a lot of logic that went into, okay, let's prefer price over size. Let's prefer this over that. What cameras go into this? And I was like, you know, I don't, I don't really wanna build this. And then I got on my phone to scroll Instagram, as one does when they're procrastinating something, and I got an ad, um, and I wish I could remember or find the ad again of who it was, but it was basically an ad of someone who was talking about building apps with Canva's AI. And I was like, you know, I don't know that I've ever used Canva AI. I've used like AI features in Canva. So for instance, like, um, you know, I wanna remove this thing or I wanna remove the background. I've used like AI features, but I've not used like Canva AI and very specifically not used it to like build something. Maybe since the very beginning, I do feel like in the very beginning of Canva AI, I did try to use it to build a presentation and it was horrible. But I was like, you can build apps? I'm sorry, what? Hold on, right? So I went over to Canva and I was like, I wonder if I can build a quiz. If I can build an app, I could build a quiz. Like, surely. Y'all, 10 minutes later, I had the quiz done. And that was with me saying, hmm, I don't love the logic here. Um, I don't love that I'm getting this result with this price tag. I don't love that these results are kind of overshadowing these other results. Literally like changing the colors, like all done, 10 minutes. Because of vibe coding with Canva AI. Like what? If you've not heard of vibe coding yet or you've heard of it but you don't really know what it is, essentially it is using AI to code things, things that would normally take us a million bajillion years to code. As someone who has a developer and a coding background from building websites back in the early 2010s, I see the benefit here, uh, right? Because like I would have to, if I wanted to change the color of a button on a website, I would have to be like, Google, <laughs> like how do I change the color of a button? And it would spit out like CSS code and I would be like, okay, let's try that. And then if that didn't work, I'd have to find another solution because I literally taught myself web design. But vibe coding is using softwares, AIs that are built to do that, to essentially build the code for you for the thing that you want. So not only did I build the full quiz, but I also at the end was like, hey, I really want this quiz to feed into, like I want it to be a um, email marketing you know, feeder, so a lead generator. So I want it to collect the email of the person before it shows their results. And then I want that email to be synced to my email marketing system. And I was like, sure, absolutely. Find me these two things from your email marketing system and I'll hook it together. And by George it did and it worked. So I thought it would be fun to show you how I did this and, and to, for us to maybe build a little appity app together um, and see what we can push Canvas AI to do because, oh my gosh. And BT Dubs, this is not sponsored. In the slightest little bit, um, it, it's just, I'm mind blown, literally. So before we get into building something new, let me show you the basics of how I built the quiz because the quiz was actually really easy. So to get into Canva AI, you just go to your homepage like normal and then up here at the top, you have your design templates and Canva AI, just go to Canva AI. And my prompt to build this quiz was literally like one sentence. Build a quiz to help people decide what camera to buy. This is what it does. It literally codes the whole damn thing while you're waiting, okay? So I'm just like hanging out, talking to y'all, and it's coding a website, or it's coding a quiz. I'm sorry. I mean, honestly, like this, this is blowing my mind. This is the first time I've really played with vibe coding, but 
and 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 by the way, there are way way more high end or you know whatever apps out there. But I feel like Canva AI is the most accessible for people. So this is really cool to kind of see the possibilities. And literally like that, it's done. Now I would want to change the colors again. I would want to add like, oh, you know, I I don't love this suggestion or whatever. And I would just do this in this little ask me anything thing. So I might say, oh, I don't like the colors. Please change to pink and orange. Okay, it will. Like insane. And here's the actual quiz that I created. So you can see here, like actually I started with way, like way less information than even what I just now gave it. Um, but eventually I did like refine it. So I was like, oh, can we change the colors to this or whatever? I'm noticing that if people put in this budget, they're still getting a really expensive camera, blah, 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 blah. I told it to weigh the price first. So like someone's price or budget should be the first thing that it considers, even if that overweighs or outweighs the size or the needs that they have, because price is always what's going to get people. So I told it to do all of that. Um, literally like this is it. So this was version one of the quiz. Um, and then this is the version that I ended up publishing of the quiz bananas. All right. So for this new app, what we're going to do is we're going to come up with an app where people, and, and literally this came from an idea because I was doing this the other day because I'm literally in the process of ordering a bunch of new stuff for my office so I can just zhuzh it up and make it a little more colorful. But anyway, so this, this was something I was doing in ChatGPT that I thought like, why not make an app to do? So what we're going to do is we're going to make an app that allows people to upload a picture of their space. So like, here's my office, here's what I want. And this app will then, AI generate a photo of what their ideal space should look like based on the specifications. Like what? So you can see here, literally all I put in was make an app that allows users to upload photos of their office or studio space, give the app preferences and general needs, and it will spit out an AI generated photo of what it thinks they should do to achieve that result with decor, etc. Let's see where that gets us. I don't know. <laughs> but this is kind of cool. Also, it was 1126 when I um, started this and it is currently 1127, uh, 1128, it just changed and the app is done. Two minutes, if that, maybe like a minute and a half. So obviously, again, I don't know for sure that this is where we'll land, but this is a good starting point. So I'm gonna look at this. Okay, so Studio Redesign AI. Okay, okay, and then I'm gonna, okay, so let's see if we can use this here. Um, Let's just upload a picture of my office space. Okay, all right, and let me drag a photo. It wouldn't let me select it, but we'll work through that bug in a minute. So this is just a photo of my current office space. I'm gonna do space, home office. Um, let's do like modern, under $500. Cre oh, content creation. Oh, I really like this. Like, this is kind of cool. I want to incorporate primary colors like blue, reddish, orange, and yellow to make my space pop. All right, so priority features, better lighting, more storage, acoustic, plants and greenery, inspiration wall. I don't know, we would want, I would probably want to redo that, but let's see how this works first. In a real app, this would show your redesigned space, okay, and it would give you this and expert the shopping list, like, oh my God. Okay, so first things first, I don't like the colors. Okay, um, let's change the color scheme to pink and orange. Let's let it do that. Okay, so it's changed it to pink and orange. You gave me this little pink up here, orange up here. Okay, so one of the things that I do know that I wanna do is that I want to add these, like add to or change the priority features. And I, I think I wanna say change inspiration wall on priority features to more colors. I don't know, we're gonna go with that and see what that looks like. Because as soon as I do this, I'm gonna pop it into a website through Canva, and then we're gonna see if we can use it. So it works. Okay, it went ahead and changed it, and that literally took that long. 
like the time I was looking at you. Okay, so I'm gonna pop this in a design, but before I do, up here in the top right hand corner, you can click show code and that like shows the code in the process. So you see that it's like different color code for each thing that I did. So you can toggle off showing or not showing the code, but I'm just gonna click use in design and I'm gonna click website. So I'm just gonna use it in a website. All right, so let's use this in real time. We're gonna drag the photo. Oh, oh that's not what I want to. Dragging the photo is not actually working. So that's fun. Oh, that one worked. We're gonna go with it. Maybe it's the size of the photo or something. So Creative Studio, Modern, Content Creation, let's do that. To incorporate of an, a fun vibe. Nothing, it did nothing. It, it didn't work. Okay, so because it didn't work, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna say, um, I just published this and the upload section is really wonky and doesn't work sometimes. And the result is still not actually, actually showing a result. And I may be doing something wrong too. <laughs> Who knows? It may be like, yeah, girl, we didn't, we didn't say this was the final one. <laughs> Duh. Okay. It's just saying I'll fix it. Awesome. All right, that took all of two seconds. It says it's fixed now, so we're gonna put it in another website. So do that, publish the website. And again, if I was doing this like for real, for real, we would take more pains with what we're doing here, but for now, I just need it to work. Open, oh, and that did work better, yay. So Creative Studio, Modern, five to whatever, content creation. I want more colors. Ah, I'm still not getting a picture. It still says demo. I mean, it's AI, right? But like, I couldn't build this on my own. I couldn't build this on my own in six and a half months, much less 15 minutes. Um, so like the fact that it has some quirks and it's not quite working right, I can handle, we'll deal with it. Okay, it says, it says it's fixed. Let's try it again. So same thing. I just kind of like every time you publish it, you have to like publish a new website or whatever. So I'm just doing that really quickly to hopefully get us some results here. Well, that's not it. Wh what is that? The <laughs> it's literally just a little cartoon. <laughs> okay. But honestly, like, okay, ignoring the photo, the fact that I can even put all of this in, right? And then transform it with this, optimize your lighting, blah, 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 blah. It, yeah, so let's go back and say, girl, I, I like to get sassy with my AI. Almost every AI agent I use, I'm always like, girl, what are you doing? Why are we doing this? Girl, the image that, that shows up for the result is a little tiny cartoon that makes no sense. This needs to be a real life looking image that actually pulls from the uploaded photo to design their new space. Now, I know I'm asking him to do a lot. This feels like it would be kind of hard, but we're going to we're going to try. We're going to try and get it. I don't know. Can we? We'll see. Okay, now I got a good answer there. It basically says, I understand what you need, but Canva can't do this. Okay, valid, got it. Um, but I replaced the tiny cartoon with a proper explanation of what would happen in a real AI design app. Now it clearly shows that this is a demo interface and explains the production version would actually analyze the uploaded photos. Um, so it can't do this, but what it could do. Okay, let's change it. And another vibe coding app that is more sophisticated, totally could. Um, but let's change this to give it what we want and then have it give us a prompt for ChatGPT to design these images. I think that could work. So it says the new features include photo analysis, custom ChatGPT prompts, and then one click copy so that we can copy it into ChatGPT or Dolly. Okay, let's try this. Let's, this morning while I'm recording this, Amazon servers went down for like hours this morning, but before I woke up. So 
I keep expecting like Canva to go down again, but hopefully it won't. Hopefully we can get through this video. Um, okay, so let's do this again, girls. In actuation, it should give us ChatGPT prompts, and it does. Um, overall room redesign, design detailed design elements. I, I still feel like this is pretty generic and go to ChatGPT and just see what that gives us as a result and see if this is a good starting place for people. Not that I'm trying to build a complete app, but I'm just trying to show you what's possible. Honestly, to me, building out presentations, building out quizzes, simple websites, um, even like quotes or things like that that would normally take you a long time to design but being able to like put in a prompt and get that out pretty quickly is where canva ai is probably really going to thrive but this kind of website or this kind of thing could easily be done on like a more advanced vibe coder which is bananas again like five years ago how long would it have taken me to even like build that page much less makes make it functional that's wild. I can already tell that this image looks nothing like my office. And I will show you that I did this the other day on ChatGPT. So you can actually do this on ChatGPT. So I uploaded this photo and I was like, hey, I really want to make this like retro, um, primary color -y, blah, 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 blah. It gave me some examples. The AI me is interesting, but I was like, no queen, that's not it. This was more what I wanted. I gave it some prompts, like whatever. And it started getting to the point where, I mean, that does look like my office, right? Like it's got the doors, it's got the thing, it's got the desk. So it started giving me back things that actually were like leaning towards the right direction. And I was like, okay, that uh, Wayne's coding is not quite right or like whatever, you know. Um, but I was trying to get it to do some certain things and give me just a visual of what things look like. And I like it did a really good job. So if you do actually want to do this, ChatGPT is a really great place to start. But let's see what image this created. I mean, it's 0% of what I wanted at all. But how long did it take? Oh, it didn't take us like two seconds to like build this out. And like the actual thing that I wanted to build does work. Like it works. I would just need to figure out the solution since Canva can't actually do that. And I do think it would have been beneficial to know that it couldn't do that in the beginning, but you know, whatever. Let's see what else we could do. Oh, it's got some ideas down here, which I really like. This a digital birthday card that explodes confetti, a simple countdown timer, um, a memory matching game, a vocab matching game, pricing calculator. Love that. Let's actually do that create a sleek modern pricing calculator. Um, sure, let's do it. Let's do a pricing calculator for a photography website. Sounds amazing, let's try. I love how in the prompt it literally says, and no non-functioning buttons. That should be a given, but you know how AI is. It's very literal. It's like, you didn't tell me you wanted the buttons to function. How dare I, you know, make this thing. Okay, so that's cool. Um, all right, so photo session is like two hours, number of images. I mean, that's really cool. So you could, uh, we could change the, the thing here, the color scheme. Um, you know, we could probably fix the fact that these bars go over top of the thing. Yeah, and then you could change it to where like this request, this quote, could automatically email your email address and say, hey, we have a new quote and have them put in their like name and email and stuff. So freaking cool. So while it's not perfect in any shape of the imagination or stretch of the imagination, it is really cool that we can do things like this with Canva. So hopefully, maybe it sparks some ideas for you. If you wanna get further into vibe coding, I will list some of the other resources below in the description that you can actually get like deeper with vibe, co vibe coding with. But, like I highly recommend playing with it. Is there some kind of tool you can build that would make your business, your life, your creatorness, like whatever, run smoother than it does now? I mean, come on.